Thank you for joining our webinar today as we talk through how to become a data-driven organization using Teletracking Synapse IQ Enterprise Analytics Platform. We've spoken a lot in the last few weeks about how Capacity Management Suite can help your organization improve patient flow, and now we want to introduce you to Synapse IQ, Teletracking's data platform, which provides real-time situational awareness into your processes supported by Capacity Management Suite. Today, we will hear from Leah Davenport, Teletracking Client and Throughput Manager at Ascension St. Thomas Rutherford, located in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, as she walks us through a handful of reports and dashboards in Synapse IQ that her team uses to positively impact patient flow in their organization. But before we dive in, we first want to give a little background into Synapse IQ. At Teletracking, we speak to health systems every day about how to drive change in their organization. And a common challenge we hear is that there is data available to team members throughout the health system, but it isn't always strong enough to be actionable or truly able to guide decision making when planning how to improve patient flow. A common sentiment is that having data is great, but it isn't always one size fits all. Different areas of the organization need different information to know where to focus their efforts. With Synapse IQ, each level of the organization is supported with structured and easily accessible data that provides insight into how their operations and processes, supported by Capacity Management Suite, are performing. Analysts can conduct ad hoc analyses, trend historical data against current performance, and quickly and easily create custom reports to promote shared and transparent knowledge across the enterprise. Staff and managers can interact with content designed specifically for them and edit reports on their own, freeing up valuable IT resources. Executives can use intelligence from Synapse IQ to identify growth and revenue opportunities and form strategic decision making around resource allocation and funding and quickly understand the current operational state of their health system. With Synapse IQ, you have out-of-the-box reports and dashboards that have been created with the guidance of clinicians and throughput team members. Reporting is available in real time, so you and your team are able to make decisions with true situational awareness. You can improve discharge times by identifying bottlenecks in the discharge process and drive transparency and accountability across service lines. And we will now turn it over to Leah to discuss how she and her team utilize Synapse IQ to improve patient flow and validate success and throughput with Capacity Management Suite. Thank you, Letty. Um, just a little about me. Um, I've been in this position uh, about two, a little over two years, um, and I am certified in Lean Six Sigma. Um, you can go to the next slide. So um, background for our hospital, initially um, when this hospital was built, we started with 286 um, licensed beds. We're now up to 394 with expansion projects. Um, that being said, we also have added more um, things that we're able to do for our patients, such as um, heart surgery, neurosurgery, et cetera. With those expansions, however, we needed to create space for our patients to go to. Um, this report was built um, and we started presenting that in June of 21. This report um, really just allowed us to not only discuss in our uh, daily leadership briefing, our current throughput um, for the day and what we're looking at, but our previous day. Um, so this report was um, really easy to read for everybody um, and all those stakeholders each morning. Um, this is just one of the examples along with the next couple slides of um, reports that are sent for Synapse IQ um, via email to our nursing leaders or each department leader each morning. So this just lets them not only share that with our staff, um, but for them to know kind of the previous day um, how their um, unit was ran and areas of opportunity, um, as well as wins. This lost discharge time um, dashboard, whenever we initially started, um, this is also sent to leaders each morning so that they can do a deeper dive in those. Um, in 2021, looking back, um, we actually had lost around 115,000 minutes, which is about 80 bed days. 
um, with our volume that we have here. Um, that was just something that we really wanted to focus on. So with use of this report and our ability to um, kind of look into these further, 2022, we reduced that by 50% pretty much. Um, we went down to 65,000 um, minutes. So we continue to use this report each morning and discuss um, as well as take corrective action um, and you know figure out where the delay was. Leah, do you yeah. mind explaining to them what you mean by lost discharge time? Sure. Um, so on this report, it really just shows the confirmed timestamp. So that's the time that the order was placed um, and the minute that the bed was dirty. So this, all of these patients that left um, were discharged within our EMR system. Um, they did not go out by RTLS band or um, automated discharge through transport. So whenever they back time a discharge, then it shows us the negative bedtime um, to where that bed was empty, essentially, for that amount of time and could have been turned over by EBS. Um, this is also sent to unit leaders each morning. So not only does it give us a real-time view of our RTLS banding um, for each unit, it also shows yesterday um, their method of discharge, as well as any patients that um, need to be banded currently. Um, this physician discharge performance is one of those interactive um, views that Letty was speaking of earlier. Um, so this is displayed in our physician's lounge, um, but it also gives us each day a real-time view that is updated on how um, many discharges that we're having um, and what that looks like as far as times um, and orders before nine, obviously before noon, um, and how quickly we're getting them out. Um, for this EVS report, this is something that we look at um, not only for the amount of cleans that they're doing um, and their response times, but these um, curves also allow us to kind of gauge where our staffing needs are for EVS so that we can accommodate um, those times of heavy discharge um, and whenever they're needed. Whenever we initially started, we found that a lot of our EVS was day shift. Um, and so we had to adjust that to kind of meet this curve and make sure that we're um, staffed whenever we're having that heavy discharge time. So this just gives us a view of when um, we're needing to do that. Um, and for transport, we also really um, encouraged our staff to start utilizing transport. We found that um, our nursing staff or techs we're leaving the floor, especially for discharges. This is able to kind of drill down to each destination location type or origin unit. Um, but we really encourage them to use transport, not only because um, it keeps our staff on the floor, but it also um, allows for them to be discharged within teletracking to turn that bed um, so the ABS can begin working on it. So this also gives us um, a view of their performance and how many jobs that they're completing um, based on whatever time frame we narrow it down to. And that concludes our webinar. I want to say a special thank you to Leah for presenting, as well as say thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about Synapse IQ, head over to teletracking.com to speak with a teletracking representative.